Hello everybody, what's up YouTube? Today we are going to learn all the models in English, okay? For example, might, can, could, must, don't need to, should, have to, okay? Okay, before starting our lesson, uh, I want you to turn on your uh, subtitles in English to understand me better, okay? Okay, before starting lessons, I wish everyone good luck with English. Okay, let's start. We start uh, with might models, okay? Might, for example, where are you going for your holidays? Okay, you ask, okay? You ask to your friend, where are you going for your holidays? I'm not sure, he answers, okay? I might go to New York, okay? I might go to New York. I might go to New York, okay? I might go to New York for my holidays, okay? He might go to, he might go to New York, okay? It is possible that he will go to New York, okay? It is possible. It is possible that he will go to New York on his holiday, okay? <clears throat> so it might show possibility. Let's give another example. You look at the black clouds, okay, in the sky and you say it might rain, okay? It might rain, okay? It might rain. It means that it is possible, okay? It is possible that it will rain. Let's look at the form. With all subject pronouns, we use might, okay? In negative sentences, we use not after might, so might not. All verbs, okay, are used in base form. Base form go rain okay okay let's give a negative sentence for example i might not go to cinema i might okay i might not go to the cinema I might not go to the cinema this evening, but I am not sure. It is possible that I won't go, okay? I might or I might not go to the cinema, okay? This afternoon or this evening, but I am not sure. It means it is possible that I will go or I won't go. When is Rebecca going to phone you? I don't know, okay? I don't know. She might phone this afternoon. She might phone this afternoon. Take an umbrella with you. It might rain. It might rain. So take an umbrella with you. Buy a lottery ticket, okay? Buy a lottery ticket. You might be lucky. You might be lucky. It means that perhaps you will be lucky and learn a lot of money. You, you may have a lot of money. Are you going out tonight? Okay, speaker A asks, are you going out tonight? Near future tense, okay, present continuous tense. Are you going out tonight? I might or I might go out, okay? It is a possibility. <clears throat> if you are sure 
okay if you are sure about uh, what you're doing what you will do in the future you say for example i am playing tennis okay i am playing tennis tomorrow what are you doing tomorrow i'm playing tennis okay tomorrow i am playing tennis tomorrow this means that you are sure okay you are sure so you are playing tennis tomorrow okay it's certain but if you say i might play i might play tennis tomorrow okay this sentence means possible okay you are not sure it is possible that you will play tennis tomorrow so this is a possible sentence okay let's give another example rebecca is going to phone later okay rebecca is going to phone later you are sure about that okay you are sure about that so you use going to feature tense but if you say rebecca might okay rebecca might phone later in this sentence it is possible that she will phone okay she will phone later but you are not 100% sure okay <clears throat> i might okay i might not okay i might not it's a negative sentence let's look, put here a minus symbol i might not go to work tomorrow i might not go to work tomorrow okay i am not sure i may or i might not go to work tomorrow maybe i will go maybe i won't go this is a negative sentence okay with model might it is possible that i will not go so might so might not come to the party okay so might not come to the party it is possible that she will not come okay it is possible that she will not come okay after might we use may okay may may is the same as might so we can put it here this is another model may and might are the same okay you can use may and may and might in the same way okay they are similar i may i may or i might for example i may go to cinema this evening i may go to okay i may go to the cinema this evening it is possible okay it is possible that i will go to the cinema this evening or in negative sentence this is a positive sentence let's do a negative sentence for example sue okay sue may not come may not come to the party sue may not come to the party it is possible okay it is possible that uh, she will or won't come to the party uh, we use may in questions like for example may i ask a question may i okay may i ask may i ask a question may i ask a question is it okay to ask it means okay is it okay to ask can i ask or can i ask or may i ask a question yes you may another example 
uh, you want to take permission. So say, you say, may I sit here? Okay. May I sit here? Yes, of course, you may sit, okay? Let's do some other exercises with might, for example. It is possible that I will go to cinema, okay? Let's trans transfer this into might sentence. I might go to the cinema, okay? Is it possible that or it's possible that I will see you tomorrow. So I might see you tomorrow. It's possible that Sarah will forget to phone. So you can say she might forget to phone. Okay. It's possible that it will snow today. So it might snow today. It's possible that I'll be late tonight. So it means I may be late tonight. I, okay, I may be late tonight. Okay, it is possible. I may be late tonight. Be is here verb in base form, okay, base. Uh, after may model, verbs come in base form be be it's possible that mark will not be here next week so this is a negative sentence okay let's transfer to into might night uh, mark might not be here next week it's possible that i won't have time to go out Let's transfer this into might night. I might not time. I might not have time to go out. Okay. I might not have time to go out. Somebody is asking about your plans. You have some ideas. Okay. But you are not sure. So, you will make sentences with might, okay? Let's ask some questions and reply them with might. Where are you going for your holidays? I am not sure. I might go to Italy, for example, okay? What are you doing at the weekend? I don't know. I might, okay? I might uh, go fishing, for example. When will you see Kate again? Okay. When will you see Kate again? I am not sure. I might see Kate on Monday, for example. What are you going to have for dinner? Okay. What are you going to have for dinner? I don't know. I, may, I might have fish, for example. How are you going to get on tonight? How are you going to get on tonight? I am not sure. Uh, I might take a taxi, okay, to get on. I might get a taxi. I hear you want some money from the lottery. What are you going to do with it? I haven't decided yet. I might buy a new car. Okay, I might buy a new car. Are you playing tennis tomorrow? Okay, you are not sure, so uh, you answers, okay, okay, possibly. Are you playing tennis tomorrow? Possibly. Are you going out tomorrow evenings? Are you going out tomorrow evenings? If you are not sure, you can say, Possibly. Are you going to get up early tomorrow? Perhaps. Perhaps I might get up early. Are you working tomorrow? No, I am not. Okay, I am certain. I am sure. Are you working tomorrow? No, I am not working tomorrow. If you are not sure, 
you may say I might uh, not work I might I might not work tomorrow it means that it is possible that you will work or you won't work will you be at home tomorrow morning maybe may maybe means perhaps are you going to watch TV yes I might possibility are you going out in the afternoon are you going out in the afternoon yes I am I am sure are you going shopping perhaps perhaps means you are 50 percent sure okay you are not very sure so you say perhaps okay if you are not sure you can say perhaps or you can say possibly you can say maybe maybe means 50 percent you're sure okay now let's continue with can and can't okay can and can't for example i can play the piano okay i can play the piano it means i can do it very well i can play the piano very well for example it shows ability okay to talk about your abilities you can say can for example i can play the piano i can play basketball and uh, with with uh, uh, asking something from someone we use uh, can or could could okay could to request something you say could for example could you open the door please okay could you open the door please yes sure of course can takes verbs in base form like might okay so after can we use verbs in base form for example i can play basketball play play this is a, a base verb play play i can play football i can do my homework i cannot do my homework because i am busy okay can with negative sentence we use not after can can cannot or in short form can't okay i can't play for example i can't play golf okay i don't know how to play it okay so uh, you, you say or i say i can't play golf can you play for example can you play basketball if you can you say yes i can if you can't you say no i can't okay in short forms i can do something it means i know how to do it or it is possible it's possible for me to do it i can play the piano my brother can play the piano too sarah can speak italian but she can't speak spanish can you see him with questions form uh, we use can at the beginning of the sentence okay can you see him can you see him yes but i'm not a very good swimmer can you change 20 pounds okay so you ask for something you request something you can say can you change 20 pounds is it possible for you to change it i'm sorry i'm sorry i can't okay so you give a negative sentence so you say no i'm sorry i can't i'm having a party last uh, next week i'm having a party next week but paul and rachel can't come okay they can't come for the past okay for the past for example with yesterday last week we use could okay so for present we use can but for past we use could when i was young for example when i was young i could run very fast okay i could run very fast before 
Maria came to Britain, she couldn't understand much English. Now she can understand everything. Now she can understand everything. I was tired last night, but I couldn't sleep. I was tired last night, but I couldn't sleep. I had a party last week, but Paul and Rachel couldn't come. Okay? I had a party last week, but Paul and Rachel couldn't come. Okay? When we ask people to do things, you can use can you, could you, okay, or can I, could you I, okay? For example, can you open the door, please? Okay, you ask something uh, from your friend. So you say, can you open the door, please? Or could you open the door, please? They are the <coughs> same things. Can I have a glass of water, please? Can I have a glass of water, please? Or can I get a glass of water, please? Can you wait a moment, please? Can you wait a moment, please? Or could you wait a moment, please? They are the same, same things. Can I sit here? Of course you may or you can. Tom, could you, uh, could you lend me your umbrella? Yes, of course. Or could I borrow your umbrella? Yes, you can. Okay. To show abilities, okay, to show that you can do some abilities, you may say, I can swim, for example. Can you swim? Yes, I can swim. Or, no, I can't swim. Can you ski? Yes, I can ski. No, I can't ski. Can you play chess? Yes, I can play chess. No, I can't play chess. Can you run 10 kilometers? Yes, I can run 10 kilometers. No, I can't run 10 kilometers. Can you drive a car? Yes, I can drive a car. No, I can't drive a car. Can you ride a horse? Yes, I can ride a horse. No, I can't ride a horse. Let's uh, make some other dialogues. I am sorry, but we can't come to your party next Sunday, okay? I am sorry, but we can't come to your party next Saturday. I like this hotel room. You can see the mountains from the window, okay? You can see the mountains from the window. You are speaking very quietly. I can't hear you. Have you seen my bag? I can't find it. Have you seen my bag? I can't find it. Catherine got the job because she can speak five languages. Okay? Catherine got the job because she can speak five languages. I was tired, but I couldn't sleep. I wasn't hungry yesterday. I, I uh, didn't. Okay? I wasn't hungry yesterday. I couldn't have my dinner. This means I didn't have my dinner. I couldn't have my dinner. Uh, for past actions, we use could, okay? I couldn't have my dinner. Could you open the door, please? Yes, you can. Could you pass me the salt, please? Okay, yes, I can. Can I have some passcode, please? Yes. Could you please turn off the radio? It's too loud here. Could you please turn off the radio? To ask for permission, you can say, can I or could I or could you, can you? Can I borrow your newspaper? Yes, of course. Can I use your pen? Yes, of course. Okay, let's continue with must, must and mustn't, okay? And don't need to. It's a fantastic film, okay? It's a fantastic film. It's a wonderful film. You must see it. To give advice, okay? To give some advice to your friends, you can say, you must definitely do it, okay? For example, you are at the cinema and you ask, uh, you, 
you say to your friend, it's a fantastic film, you must see it. We use must with infinitives, okay? For example, you must do your homework. We must do our homework. Uh, we use verbs in base form. I must do something means I need to do it, okay? Need. I need to do it. I'm very hungry, I must eat something. Or else I will die, I must eat something. It's a fantastic film, you must see it. The windows are very dirty, we must clean them. For the past, okay, for example, for yesterday, for last week, we use had to, okay? For past, we use had to. For example, I was very hungry yesterday. I was very hungry yesterday. I had to eat something. I had to eat something. Okay? I had to eat something. So, for the past, we don't use. Uh, we don't use must. We used had to. I was very hungry yesterday. I had to eat something. Okay? S had to is the past form of past form of must. Okay? Must. S let's give another example. We had to, we had to walk home last night. There were no buses, okay? There were no buses, so we had to walk home last night. Okay, let's give a negative sentence uh, with must, so you, you will use must not or mustn't. I mustn't do something, it means it is necessary not to do it, okay? It is necessary not to do it. It's the wrong thing to do, okay? It's the wrong thing. So don't do it. For example, I must go. I mustn't be late. I must go. I must go. I mustn't be late. Okay? It's it's a wrong thing to do to be late, okay? It's a wrong thing to be late, so I mustn't be late. I must hurry up, okay? I, mu I must hurry up. I mustn't forget to phone Chris. I must remember to phone her, it means. Be happy, you mustn't be sad, okay? It means don't be sad, okay? Don't be sad. You mustn't touch the pictures, okay? It means don't touch the pictures. Let's continue with don't need to. I don't need to do something. It means it is not it is not necessary. For example, I don't need to go now. I okay. I don't need to go now. I don't need to go now. Okay, don't need to. It is not necessary. It's not necessary. Okay? I don't need to go now. It means I can stay a little longer. Okay? You don't need to go. You can stay here if you want. Okay? You don't need to go. You can stay a little while. You mustn't go. You mustn't go. You must stay here. Let's co compare this. For example, when I say you don't need to go now, it means you can stay here, okay? Don't hurry up. But when I say you mustn't go, okay? You must stay here. It means uh, there is a necessity here, okay? You cannot go when I say you mustn't stay, okay? 
you mustn't go it means you cannot you cannot uh, go okay you can't go you mustn't go you must stay here you have to stay here so it shows a necessity okay let's continue with the other exercises with must I am very hungry I'm very hungry I must eat something or else I will be dead Marilyn is a very interesting person okay Marilyn is a very interesting person you must know her you must know her my hands are dirty I must wash them my hands are dirty I must wash them you have to or you must learn how to drive it will be very useful you must learn how to drive it will be very useful I must go shopping I need to buy some food the game tomorrow is very important for us we must win okay you can't always have the things immediately you can't always have things immediately you must be patient okay I give you some advice here okay you must be patient okay now let's do some exercises uh, with must and had to don't forget that had to is the past form of okay had to is past form of must so in past tenses we use had to instead of must for example I had to walk home last night there were no buses it's late I must go now okay it's late in simple present tense so I use must I must go now I have to go now I don't usually work on Saturdays I don't usually work on Saturdays but last Saturday I had to work okay I had to work I must get up early tomorrow okay with future meanings I use must I must get up early tomorrow I have a lot to do okay I have a lot to do I came here by train I came here by train the train was full okay the train was full and I must uh, I must or had to stand all the way which one will you use I had to because it's a past tense it's a past tense so with past tenses we use had to so the train was full and I had to stand all the way okay I was nearly late for my appointment this morning I was nearly late for my appointment this morning I had to run to get there on time I had to run to get there on time I forgot to phone David yesterday I forgot to phone David yesterday I must phone him later today okay I must phone him later today with simple present tense I use must not had to okay I don't need to go home okay this time I use need I don't need to it's not necessary okay I don't need to go home yet okay I can stay a little longer I can stay a little longer I don't need to go home yet we have a lot of time okay we have a lot of time we don't need to rush we have a lot of time we don't need to rush keep these papers in a safe place okay keep these papers in a safe place you don't okay or you mustn't uh, lose them okay you mustn't lose them we we need them I am not ready yet okay I am not ready yet but you don't need to wait for me okay you can go now and I will come later you don't need to for me now you can go now and I'll come later 
we must turn off the lights okay we must turn off the lights before we leave You don't need to go now, you can stay if you want. It's a fantastic film, you must see it. The restaurant won't be busy tonight, okay? We don't need to reserve a table, okay? The restaurant won't be busy tonight, okay? We don't need to reserve a table. We don't need to, we don't need to reserve a table. I was very busy last week. I was very busy last week. I had to work every evening last week. I had to work every evening last week. I want to know what happened. I want to know what happened. You must tell me. You must tell me. Okay, let's continue with should. Okay, should is used for giving advice. Okay, for example, you shouldn't watch TV so much. For example, you say to your children, okay, you say you shouldn't watch TV so much. Okay, should is used with infinitives. Okay, infinitives means infinitives mean verb in base form okay you should or you shouldn't with all subject pronouns i use should okay it doesn't change after should we use verbs in base form for example you you should okay you should okay you should not you should not go home now okay you should not go home now you must stay here okay you should not play football for example when i say you should do something it's a good thing to do okay it's a good thing to do it's the right thing to do, okay? So you must do it. Tom doesn't study enough. Tom doesn't study enough. He should study harder, okay? He should study harder. It's a good film. It's a good film, okay? It's a good film. You should go and see it. It's a good film. You should go and see it. It's an advice. When you play tennis, you should always watch the ball. When you play tennis, you should always watch the ball. Okay? You shouldn't do something. It means it's a not a good thing to do. Tom, okay, Tom shouldn't. Okay, shouldn't is the uh, reduction of should not. Tom shouldn't. Okay, Tom shouldn't go to bed so late. She should go to bed earlier, okay? She should go to bed early. So, Tom shouldn't go to bed so late. You watch TV all the time, okay? You watch TV all the time. You shouldn't watch TV so much. You shouldn't watch tv so much so after should or shouldn't verbs come in base form go okay go base form when we give advice we often say i think you should do 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 okay for example i think okay i think lisa should buy some new clothes okay i think it's a good idea it means I think, okay, I think, okay, I think Lisa should, okay, Lisa should buy some new clothes. 
it's my advice okay so before you give your advice this is an advice you start with uh, I think okay for example I think Lisa should buy some new clothes it's late it's late I think okay I think I should go home now okay it's late it's late I think I should go home now it's late shall I buy this coat yes I think you should okay it's a short form uh, you reply a question here the question is shall I bought this coat and you answer it yes I think you should okay do you think I should buy this hat okay your friend asks you do you think okay do you think do you think I should buy okay to form a question with think we ask do you think okay do you think do you think okay do you think I should do you think I should buy this hat you know hat is used in hats okay for example baseball hat do you think I should buy this hat how do you answer this question yes yes okay you answer with yes I think yes I think you should okay do you think I should buy this hat? You say, yes, I think you should, okay? In negative sentences with I think, we use I don't think, okay? I don't think. For example, I don't think you should buy this hat, okay? If you are negative about this hat, you say, I don't think you should buy this hat, okay? I don't think you should work so hard. I don't think you should work so hard I don't think we should go yet okay I don't think we should go yet it's too early it means I don't think it's a good idea okay when you share your ideas you can say I don't think okay I don't think it's a good idea okay do you think do you think I should buy this hat what time do you think we should go home okay you ask for an opinion okay you ask for some advice and you ask to your friend what time do you think we should go home so you answer it I think at six o'clock okay we can go home at six o'clock or at eight o'clock so you give some time okay what time do you think we should go home I think at six o'clock don't forget that must must is stronger than should okay must is stronger than should for example it's a good film you must go and see it it's it means it's a fantastic film you you really really have to go okay so you say it's a fantastic film you must go and see it okay you must definitely go and see it but if you say it's a good film you should go and see it you may go or you may not go but you had better go it's a good film because okay but when I say you must go and see it it means that it's a fantastic film you must really go there okay uh, another way to say should okay we can say ought to okay ought to for example it's a good film you ought to go and see it okay for for should we can use ought to okay for example I think Lisa ought to okay ought to you ought to 
I think Lisa ought to buy some new clothes. So Otto is another, another model. Ought to, okay? Ought is old usage, okay? Old usage of uh, should. I think Lisa ought to, okay? I think Lisa ought to buy some new clothes, okay? Lisa should buy. It it means, okay? Let's continue with some other exercises. When you play tennis, okay, when you play tennis, you should watch the ball, okay? You should watch the ball. It's late and you are very tired, okay? It's late and you are very tired. You should go to bed, okay? You should go to bed. It's my advice. You should eat, you should eat plenty of fruit and vegetables. If you have time, you should go to science museum. It's a very interesting place. If you have time, you should see the science museum. It's very interesting. When you are driving, you should, okay? When you are driving, you should wear a seat belt. You should wear a seat belt. It's too far to walk from here to the station. It's too far, okay? It's too far to walk from here to the station. You should take a taxi. You should take a taxi. You are in a shop, okay? You are in a shop. You are trying on a jacket, okay? So you ask your friend, do you think I should buy this jacket? Okay, do you think I should buy this jacket? This time I use jacket instead of hat. Okay, so you ask for an opinion. Okay, you ask for your friend's opinion. Do you think I should buy this jacket? Okay, you can't drive and you want to learn and you ask for your friend's uh, opinion. So you ask, do you think, okay, do you think I should I should learn how to drive a car, for example. Do you think I should learn how to drive a car? You don't like your job, okay? So you ask your friend, do you think I should get another job? If you are positive, yes, you should. Or if you are negative, you, you may answer it. I don't think you should get another job, okay? You are going to have a party, so you ask for your opinions, friend. Do you think I should invite Gary? Gary is a friend of yours. So you say, do you think, okay, do you think I should invite Gary? If you are positive, yes, I think you should. And if you are negative, I don't think you should, okay? These are the answers. We have to get up early tomorrow, okay? We have to get up early tomorrow. So I think we should go home now okay we should go home earlier than expected the coat is too big for you okay your jacket is too big for you so you say i don't think you should buy it because it is too big for you you say i don't think you should buy it okay you don't need your car so you give advice you say you I think you should sell it because you don't need it. I think you should sell it. Karen needs a rest. So you give advice, you say, I think, okay, you should have a holiday. I think you should have a holiday because you need a rest. Sarah and Dan are too young, okay? I don't think they should get married because they are too young. You are not well this morning, okay? You are ill this morning, so you give advice to your friend. What do you say? You can say, I don't think you should go to work tomorrow, okay? Because your friend is ill. So you say, I don't think you should go to work tomorrow. James isn't well today, okay? James isn't well today, isn't fine today. So 
he must go to the doctor. So you say, I think you should go to the doctor tomorrow or today. The hotel is too expensive for us. So you say, I think we shouldn't stay here. Or you can say, I don't think we should stay here because the hotel is too expensive for us. So you say, I don't think we should stay in this hotel. I think everybody should learn another language. I think everybody should learn another language. It's my advice, okay? I think everybody should learn another language. Okay, let's continue with uh, have to, okay? Have to. I have to do something, okay? For example, I am ill, I am in bed, okay? I don't feel very well. I say, this is my medicine, okay? This is my medicine. I have to take it three times a day, okay? I have to take it three times a day. It means I have to do something. It is necessary, okay? It is necessary for me to do it. I am I am ill because because I am ill, I have to take this medicine or else I won't be well, okay? I won't be well. So we use have to, okay? We use have to to show a necessity, okay? A necessary thing. For example, I am, uh, I have got some uh, bad marks at school, okay? So I have to study harder because I have some bad marks, okay? I am not a successful student, so I have to study harder. I have to study harder for my tests, okay? For example, for my English test, I have to study harder. I will be late for more uh, for work tomorrow. I'll be late for work tomorrow. I have to go to the dentist, okay? Because I have to Okay, I have to go, okay? Go verb is in base form, okay? Go is in base form. So after all kinds of models, verbs come in base form. I have to go to the dentist, okay? That's why I will be late uh, for work tomorrow, okay? I will be late for work tomorrow because I have to go to the dentist, okay? My tooth is aching, okay? So I have to go to a dentist tomorrow. Jane starts work at seven o'clock, okay? Jane works uh, at seven o'clock, okay? So she starts work at seven o'clock in the morning. So she has to get up at six, okay? She has to get up at six. Do you see any difference here? Yes, have to is transferred into has to. Because have to, okay, have to, uh, have to text simple present tense, okay, simple present tense rules. In, uh, remember that in simple present tense, with he, she, it, we use verbs in S form. So have to transforms into has to. So, when I say I have to, you have to, they have to, we have to, I use have to, but with he, she, it, okay, he, she, it, I use has to instead of have to, okay? So, after has to or have to, I use uh, verbs in base form. For example, I have to pass a test before I can get a driving license, okay? I have to pass a test, 
I have to be in I have to be successful in a test before I can get a driving license okay so you say he has to okay pass a test pass a test pass means to be successful in a test okay to be successful he has to pass a test before he can get a driving license okay it has to drink a lot of water okay for example we have a cat and it is ill so it has to drink a lot of water because our cat is ill okay our cat is sick okay so what we do when we form a negative sentence with have to we use don't or doesn't okay we use don't and doesn't like simple present tense okay so for example i don't have to okay i don't have to or uh, he she it doesn't have to she for example she okay she doesn't have to she doesn't have to okay I don't have to she doesn't have to what about questions with questions okay we use do and does okay when to use do when to use does with uh, he she it we use does so does he have to does he have to or do you have to for example do you get, have to go out tonight yes i have to okay does she have to learn english yes she does okay uh, in questions and negatives okay in questions and negatives we use do and does okay for example i don't have to get up early tomorrow i don't have to get up early tomorrow or do you have to get up early tomorrow this is a question what time do you have to go to the dentist tomorrow okay this is an information question about have to what time do you have to go to the dentist tomorrow for example at seven in the morning does jane okay does jane have to work on sundays does she have to work on sundays yes she does or no she doesn't okay she doesn't have to work very hard it means okay she doesn't work to she doesn't have to work very hard it means that it is not it is not necessary to do it okay it is not necessary to do it for example i don't have to do my homework today okay i don't have to do my homework today because tomorrow is sunday so i can do it tomorrow she doesn't have to work very hard she's got an easy job okay she's got an easy job so she doesn't have to work very hard i am not working tomorrow i'm not work working tomorrow so i don't have to get up early i don't necessarily have to get up very early because i am not working tomorrow when we compare must okay when we compare must and have to uh, you can use must and have to you can use must and have to you can use must or have to when you say what you think is necessary okay when you give your opinion for example it's a fantastic film you can say you must see it or you have to see it okay you your you give your personal opinion so you can use must or have to you must see it or you have to see it 
but when you are not give your uh, when you are not giving your personal information or your personal opinion use have to okay not must for example jane won't be at work this afternoon okay jane won't be at work this afternoon she has to go to the doctor this is my this is not my personal opinion okay it's a fact she has to do she has to do it okay she has to go to the doctor because uh, <clears throat> okay jane won't be at work this afternoon because she has to go to the doctor the second sentence is jane isn't well okay she doesn't want to go to the doctor but i told her she must go this is my personal opinion this is my personal advice so i can use must here i can use must here she doesn't want to go to doctor but i told her she must go okay so to form a sentence with have to in simple past tense we use had to okay had to in another verb uh, in another word had to is the past form of have to okay had to is the past form of have to so we use had to in past tense for example i was late for work yesterday okay i was late for work yesterday okay i was late for work yesterday okay this is a simple past tense how do we know it because it is used with was so it's a past tense okay i was late for work yesterday i didn't go to work uh, on time okay i didn't go to work on time so i was late for work yesterday so you say i had to okay i had to go to the dentist i had to go to the dentist i had to means i did have to go to the dentist uh, because my uh, my teeth was aching okay so i had to go to the dentist it is a past simple tense okay past simple tense it was yesterday so in the past tense i was late for work yesterday because i had to go to the dentist had to is past form of past form or have to okay have to and verbs are used here in base form okay base form i had to go to the dentist we had to walk home last night there were no buses okay we had to we had to walk home last night okay we had to walk home last night had to is the past form of have to so we had to walk home last night because there were no buses okay so we walked home last night okay this is a positive sentence let's do a negative and a question sentence with had to okay for example we didn't okay we didn't have to we didn't have to or did you have to walk home last night yes i did no i didn't okay we have come to the end of our lessons i hope you have all liked my uh, videos if you saw if you liked it please subscribe to my channel and like my videos please thank you for watching me i hope uh, i wish you all good luck with english so good for take good care of yourselves good